Welcome to video number 5, Y-axis assembly. This will be our final step in assembling the Y-axis. Now the first thing I'm going to do in this step before we continue assembling is I'm going to take my metric tape measure and I'm going to make sure that my measurements are pretty accurate before we keep going. Now the most important measurement right now is that the end of the Y corner to the other outside edge should be almost right at 186 millimeters. Now when I was checking the inner measurements I was just making sure that they're pretty good and centered but for now that doesn't really matter because we're going to go back and change it. Once you've uh, measured it out to be 186 on both the top and bottom, um, go ahead and take your two adjustable wrenches and snug them up so that you're not going to lose any of that. So, And you don't want to over tighten yet because we're going to have to do some fine tuning but make sure it's not going to move around on you. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our transverse side that has the Y idler on it and we are going to fix both of those rods inside the center hole. Once you get those both fit in, uh, use another washer and another nut to fix those on there. And do snug them up but don't tighten them all the way because we may have to adjust the length of this rod.
Once the transverse side is fixed onto the threaded rods, go ahead and take two smooth rods, which are both 8 by 350 millimeters, and insert them in the Y corner top until they hit the end. Then very carefully slide the heated bed mount assembly on both smooth rods through the ball bearings on the underside. You will notice that one mistake I made in the video that you should not repeat is I did not put the nut and the flat washer on the other end of the threaded rods. That needs to go on before you put the last transverse assembly. So do that before you slide the transverse side onto the threaded rods and the smooth rods. Once you have the heated bed mount safely on the smooth rods, then insert the last transverse side on the smooth rods and the threaded rods, and then fix them with two M10 nuts and two 10mm washers. Once you have the full assembly in place and you have all your nuts tightened up on the ends, then go ahead and take four small zip ties and fix them into the top of the white corners and get them as tight as you can so that the smooth rods can't come up. <laughs> 